smallholder farmers need access to affordable and effective services, such as input, finance and technology. We are enabling this with FarmFit Business Support and FarmFit Fund. After the analysis we do together with our partners, where we really look at the business case for the smallholder farmer and the business, we sit around the table together to see how can we tweak their business model to improve it for both farmers and the businesses. In Cashew, for example, we work together with several different partners. What we help them to do is set up a management information system that really tells them where their cashew is coming from, from which individual farmer, how is the farmer performing, but also how can I support that farmer to become a more professional farmer. FarmFit Business Support works with companies and banks to analyse and innovate cost-efficient service delivery models that are profitable to both farms and businesses. And it makes these insights accessible to everyone. This way, sustainable service delivery becomes the norm. Working with IDH has been very interesting in terms of being able to streamline and document the various business models that we deployed. Not only were we able to create a baseline and also run the economics and the financials and test the various models that we were running, we also were able to go specifically into the economics of the individual outgrower farmers. FarmFit Fund will accelerate the transformation to sustainable sourcing models. FarmFit Fund takes high-risk positions and enables banks and businesses to invest in farms that were previously perceived too risky. This way, smallholder farmers are able to save and invest in their farms. I'm really excited uh, about this new fund that IDH is setting up because it mobilizes private money uh, that can be used to improve the lives of farmers. The first lost guarantee that the Innovative Finance Unit at IDH has is a truly unique mechanism that tilts the risk return profile for a company like ours to invest in smallholder farmers. We can envisage taking this to as many as 10 producing countries in the next 10 years. It would really make a change to our overall coffee purchasing strategy worldwide and become part of our core business. By investing in inclusive agribusiness, we can create a bright future for smallholder agriculture.